There we went bowling, which he absolutely loves. So we can move the frame right up to her wheelchair and then she's got control of the ball on the actual frame and she can push it when she wants to push it to knock the skittles down. So it fully enables her to participate, not just turn up and watch, she actually gets involved with bowling. Without the personal budget, we wouldn't be doing any of this. Nicola would literally be in a room or stuck within four walls for the majority of the day. She gets a lot of enjoyment out of it and a lot of benefit and, and she progresses as a person. Nicola's going out and her hands do get quite cold when she goes out because she's not moving around as like an able-bodied person would be able to. Then she's wearing her gloves that Scott's managed to put on her. The carer would not be able to get hats and gloves on. With care agencies, they have a very high turnover of staff, um, which isn't good for her. It might be good for other people who like to see different people during the day, but for her, it wasn't very good at all. Over 50 carers in two years, not being very client-friendly, not talking to her properly, talking over her. And it was a situation that we couldn't have carried on with. It was just awful for everybody, not just for Nicola, but as a knock-on effect for the family, for Ellie, who's only 12. This is picking Ellie up from school and it might seem an absolute trivial thing to picking your child up from school, a lot of people do it but I can do that without rushing now when we had care agency staffing before I was mindful of time constantly they were either just coming or going we had to hurry up but now that Scott's at home and looking after Nicola I can leisurely go out to pick Ellie up there's no rush there's no stress, it's just great now, it's really good. This is my paperwork that I keep relating to the personal budget. We was given no sheets or, or any paperwork for recording the incomings and the outgoings onto. So I devised this sheet and it's a simple spreadsheet and it runs every quarter. The job I did before, I was a manager for a security company and it did involve quite a bit of administration work but the finance side of things I was quite worried about when we started it because I got no skilled financial background. But you don't need it. As long as you've got the paperwork, it does it all for you. All you have to do is when you take money out, record it. When money comes in, you record it. So it's very simple. And now we've got to stir it. Are you going to help me? We went into it pretty much blind. We was given the personal budget and said, there you go, see you later. We've never had anybody fighting for Nicola the way well, we both do, but more so Karen's the voice. And we've been told, those who shout loudest get. And that's, that's what it boils down to. They can't help everybody and they don't. So it is who shouts loudest and Karen shouts pretty loud. It's been troublesome. A nightmare. It's been a long hard slog to get exactly what we want but we wanted to get exactly what we want to get it right. We didn't want to put up with just a bog standard service that wouldn't have benefited Nicola and wouldn't have benefited us as a family but having gone through this and got exactly what we wanted it's just transformed our lives. So before Scott became Nicola's full-time carer, my stress levels were through the roof. It was just an absolute awful time. But now having Scott give up his job, unfortunately, you know, it had to come to that. But to become her full-time carer was just amazing. It's just transformed all our lives. Everybody's happier. Everybody's more relaxed. Nicola especially is brilliant now isn't she with how she is and there's no screaming at bath time when we used to have carers come round. I'm not sure I'd recommend it to everybody I don't think it's for everybody but we knew this was going to be for us definitely. Every day I would have a phone call at work most of the time with Karen in tears saying this is not working <laughs> that's not happened this has not happened that has, has disappeared completely. We have normal problems now, rather than these problems that we just didn't need. Nicola goes out, she does what she likes to do. I go along as the carer. 
the rest of the family may or may not come along, but it also gives them the flexibility and the freedom to do what they want as well. And especially for Ellie, I think Ellie's missed out on quite a lot before we got to the personal budget. With after school things she couldn't really attend to because there wasn't really anybody here to look after Nicola while I went to get Ellie from school or for her after school club. So I think having Scott here has enabled her to do more stuff. And the family as a whole, not just for Nicola, it's impact on all of us for the positive.